Do you want to make your transitions look like this? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this portal effect transition in only a few easy steps. This one's simple and effective and easy for newcomers. So let's jump into it. My name's Dan and you're watching Dan Vinci. <laughs> And with that all out the way, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and start creating the portal transition. So I've got two clips here in my project timeline. And if you want to follow this video step for step, I've put these videos on a Google Drive link in the description of this video. So if you want to follow this tutorial down to a T, you can do that. So let's look at the clips that we've got here. So we've got a clip of my phone being placed on the table with me unlocking it like this to reveal a green background. Now we're going to be using this green background to cut out the screen. Magic. And if you're doing this to your your own footage which is completely different that's fine this will work too if you want to shoot your own phone just download a green image whack it in the photo album and do exactly what I did place it on a table and film it and it will do the exact same thing and then the second shot is me just standing on a cliff looking extra cool because I'm a cool dude all right, so the first step is to key out this green screen. What we want to do is go into the Fusion tab on this clip. And then once we're in the Fusion tab, what I want you to do first is do Control Space. And then once you've got this Select Tool search bar up, search Ultra Key. Ultra Key, more like Ultra Fast. <laughs> Then add this node to your fusion tree. This should automatically apply into the fusion tree. If not, you can just connect it up like so, like that. And now we have the ultra key node in the node tree. Let's key out the green. To do this, navigate over to the inspector tab where you'll see this little droplet tool. Click on this and hold it and drag over to your green screen part of the frame and it'll automatically select the background color to the exact green that you want to key out. And there we have it. We have keyed out the green and cut out the screen. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it but we have a little bit of a problem we've keyed out the plant somehow that's fine all you need to do while selecting the ultra key node is go over to this square here click that and it'll create a rectangle this is basically going to act like a mask a rectangle mask and we're going to just drag it to space just like this drag it into the space that we need just like that perfect now if we play this through i place the phone down and unlock the phone to reveal nothing yeah <laughs> Now let's add some animation to this frame so that the camera basically shoots into the phone going straight into the next shot. What we want to do here is while selecting the ultra key node is click this button here, the transform node. This will create a transform node and add it to your node tree. If it doesn't add automatically, just attach it just like the ultra key we did just earlier. Then we want to find a point on our timeline where, let's see, let's see, where we want the transition to start. So I want my transition to start speeding up about here. So I'm going to zoom it in a bit because I don't want it all the way back to about here. And I might just center it up. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it just for my own sanity. And then I'm going to put the pivot point maybe just smack bang in the middle of the phone here, right where this wallpaper center is. It's quite helpful actually having that wallpaper. So now that I'm happy with the framing of the first bit of the transition, let's create some keyframes at this point. So click these little diamonds and these will create keyframes like so. I might also add some angle and some rotation just to mix it up a bit. Then dragging along our timeline here, let's find a point where the animation completes there. So let's zoom this all the way in like so. Let's maybe do this at seven. Oh, maybe we need to go even higher. Higher! Also going to add some rotation. So let's do it at maybe that, that angle. Do it at 11. There we go. And now we have a basic zoom in. Let's make this way better, more natural and cooler. Now I want you to open your spline controls. Go up to the top right corner and click this little button right here. It'll open your spline graph thing. And this is where we can make basic and small adjustments to our keyframes that we've made. Selecting our transform, because this is where we've got the keyframes, and click this little button here to enlarge our keyframing. And let's just, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit just for personal preference. And let's just select these and then go over to the left here and click this little button here. And this will create the ease in and the ease out. Clicking T on your keyboard will open up the ease in and the ease out adjustments. So you can really adjust these on the fly and make it look really smooth. So now that we, when we play this, it's sort sort of accelerates into the phone, which is really nice. Really, really nice. Just for an added touch, I'm going to add a keyframe at the beginning of our timeline and zoom out the frame just like this, just so that there's a nice dynamic zoom, slowly zooming into the phone as I place it, and then it suddenly accelerates into the phone screen, creating a portal to a different world. Very dramatic. For an added touch, you can add some motion blur. Go into the settings, click motion blur, and you can increase the quality if you want, increase the shutter angle, and this will create a nice motion blur. Although I think that's a little bit strong for my liking, so I might bring it down a tad. 
make it a little bit less intense. Okay, so now that we've done this infusion, let's move back to the edit page and render this shot in place so that we can play it back a little bit better. Okay, so we're in the edit tab now and I'm gonna click on the clip that we've just edited in Fusion. And what I'm going to do is right click on it, click render in place, and then I'm gonna to go to the Kodak here and I'm gonna do GoPro Cineform. There are other codecs that you can use that are potentially better than this, but I prefer to use this one because it just seems to run the best on my computer. Then clicking render, save the file to somewhere that you like, and then you're all ready to wait until it's done. So now what we need to do is drag this up onto the track two and drag our other shot underneath like so. Make sure the looking cool shot or whatever shot you're using next lines up perfectly with the first frame where your transition starts to occur. So in my case, this is the first frame where the transition starts. As you can see, the black is right there. And we're going to drag the looking cool shot right over here just to this frame here so that it lines up perfectly. And that is basically it. Feel free once again to go into the description to download these clips and any other files that I used in the montage for this video and follow this step by step. But otherwise, my name's Dan, you've watched Dan Vinci, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.